What a great turnout. Last year we had a bit of a last minute thought, let's do a walk, let's do something else apart from the festival. And look how far we've come. Look at all you beautiful people. It's actually a little bit emotional and it's really fantastic that you're all here. So I just wanted to start off by explaining who I am. My name is Brooke Collins. I'm a Wandan. My grandfather lived around these parts. He was born at Corrandirk. And some of the reasons why we're walking today are the things that he did and the things that my great-grandfather did. My great-grandfather was one of Barrack's right-hand men and he helped write letters and petitions to say to the government, you know what, you buggers? The way you're treating us is just not good enough. Um, my grandfather was born at Corrandirk. He went off and he fought in the First World War. And when he came home, he couldn't return to his home. How silly is that? But that didn't stop him. I found a letter on Trove recently in 1955 and he wrote it. Um, at that time, they were going to bulldoze the Corrandirk Cemetery. I can't think of it word for word, but pretty much it says, you know, please don't bulldoze those graves. My mother is buried there. My father is buried there. And two of my children are buried there. So there's this really long extended fight. And that's why we walk today. To remember them and to honour them. I would just like to introduce another Corrandirk descendant who's going to come up and say a few words, because he's always short of a word. I would just like to welcome Andrew Peters to the microphone. Thanks, Brooke. As Brooke said, my name's Andrew Peters. I'm the son of Auntie Dot, who some of you may know. Uh, I'm also a descendant, as Brooke said, of Corin Dirk and, and a few other people, uh, descendants of the Wurundjeri, Yorta Yorta and Tungarong peoples. And the more I live, the more I learn about my family and my history. And the more I appreciate that this isn't just about me and my family. As Brooke said... We're lucky because we're descendants of Aboriginal people who once walked this land that we're on. But this history that we're talking about is part of us all because you're all standing right now on traditional Wurundjeri land. Our ancestors walked here for thousands and thousands of years. As I, I'm a lecturer at Swinburne University and I often tell my students that once you were born in Australia, you are automatically part of that land. You were born on someone's Indigenous land. And according to our ancient histories and laws, that makes you entitled. You have certain rights and responsibilities to that land. And I see no reason why just because we live under a white man's law today, that we can't live under some of those laws as well and respect that land like all of our ancestors did, because they are Australia's ancestors. Today we're walking out to Corrandirk, uh, emulating the spirit of William Barrack, who many of you will know. The, the last recognised Narangita of the Wurundjeri people, and along with Simon Wonga, the man who created one of the reasons that we're all here today. Without these two great men, Corin Dirk wouldn't exist. Without Corin Dirk, a, a very massive part of history in this town, in this region and this country would be lost to us all. And as Brooke said, that's Corin Dirk. My great-grandmother was one of the three stubborn families, along with the Wandans, who refused to leave Corrandirk when the soldier settlement scheme was established in Victoria in the mid-1900s. They followed the spirit of Barrett and Wonga, deciding that we're not giving up this land. They allowed the white people to push them off all of the other Kulin Nation land around Melbourne in a way that certainly wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, passive. They fought as hard as they could, but they realised very soon that that fight was a bit futile. So they started and learned to pick their battles. And Barak and Wonga were very adept at understanding and negotiating in the white man ways. So much so that John Green, for example, virtually gave Barak a uh, cut blanche, which is an old Aboriginal word for do what you like. <laughs> of course, it's not really. It's a French word that we borrow from time to time to run Corin Dirk the way he saw fit to preserve his culture, to preserve his history and to protect his people. And today, thanks to girls like Brooke and Jackie and our families, we're allowed to continue that tradition, to preserve our history, to preserve our heritage, a heritage and a history that's part of us all. So let's move down about 100 metres to our right, no, my right, at the junction of the Watts River and we'll start the walk. Oh, 
London, William Barrick is my great great uncle. Um, my Minji car, that means welcome in my water language. Uh, first of all, I just want to say to the police fellas, great effort, guys. Yeah, hooray! Um, to, the, uh, to the committee and also uh, the most important two girls here today is um, Jackie and Brooke, my daughters. Well done. And this is where the festival will be. Later on the festivities will be over in front of the house. <laughs> 